Hi everyone, my name is Anne Tokarski and I'm here to welcome you to the second installment of the Ice Gardens A Beginner's Guide to Women's Hockey series, this time featuring the Professional Women's Hockey Players Association. A small disclaimer before we begin. The producer of this video, aka myself, Anne, volunteers part-time with the PWHPA and, as such, may demonstrate some level of bias towards the organization. That being said, this video was not made in conjunction with the PWHPA and was instead made in affiliation with the Ice Garden, a women's hockey media entity. Okay, so now that that's out of the way, on to the good stuff. If you're watching this video, you're either well-versed in women's hockey, completely new to the sport, or somewhere in between. Whichever category you fall under, we're here to educate you a little bit more on the Professional Women's Hockey Players Association, henceforth referred to as the PWHPA. The PWHPA was established in the wake of the Canadian Women's Hockey League's dissolution in the spring of 2019 and was conceived with the mission to promote, advance, and support a single viable professional women's ice hockey league in North America, according to the PWHPA. While the NWHL did exist at the time of the PWHPA's formation, the players and organizers with the PWHPA do not and did not believe in the business model of the, or the sustainability of the existing league, and set about blazing their own trail for the next generation. You can follow the PWHPA on Twitter and Instagram at the handle at PWHPA. The first season of play for the PWHPA was during the 2019-2020 season, and followed a pretty loose format featuring the first iteration of the Dream Gap Tour, named for the gap that exists between the aspirations of young male hockey players and young female hockey players in North America. That is to say, young male hockey players can have the dream of making a living wage playing in the NHL, while young female hockey players don't currently have the option to make a living wage playing hockey in North America. The 2019-2020 Dream Gap Tour featured randomized rosters of players traveling to a variety of cities across North America to showcase their skill and talent in hopes of securing sponsors for a sustainable league. You might recall hearing about this group of players hosting showcases in places like Toronto, Chicago, New Hampshire, Philadelphia, Arizona, and more. The PWHPA introduced a new format for their second season in 2020-2021 though it's been fairly limited as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. This new structure involves a reduced number of centralized training hubs, five, and formalized rosters for each region. Following this restructuring, the PWHPA then secured a $1 million sponsorship from Secret Deodorant and launched the Secret Dream Gap Tour, a series of showcases across North America designed with the same intent as the original Dream Gap Tour in 2019-2020. So far this season, the Secret Dream Gap Tour has stopped in New York City and Chicago, playing at Madison Square Garden and the United Center, respectively, along with local rinks. Like I mentioned before, there are five regional training hubs within the PWHPA's new and improved structure. There are three Canadian hubs, located in Montreal, Toronto, and Calgary, and two American hubs, located in Minnesota and New Hampshire, each sponsored by and named for a different entity. That might sound a little bit confusing, but I promise you'll get the hang of it. Each roster carries around 25 players, and all players who committed to the PWHPA during the offseason had to try out for one of these roster spots ahead of the Secret Dream Gap Tour. Now, we'll take a cursory look at each of the PWHPA's regional training hubs, talk a little bit about each hub's key players, and hear from some of the players themselves on why their hub deserves your support over the course of the Secret Dream Gap Tour. Introducing Team Bauer. Bauer is the title sponsor of Montreal's regional training hub and plays host to a team of 14 forwards, 7 defenders, and 4 goaltenders. The team is coached and managed by Danielle Sogajo and operates out of Centre 21.02 in Montreal, which is the first facility of its kind to cater directly to female athletes. Newcomers to professional women's hockey who have watched some international competitions might recognize some of the names on Team Bauer. Players like Team Canada's captain, Marie-Philippe Poulin, and her national teammates Erin Ambrose and Jill Saulnier, who all call Montreal home and compete for Team Bauer. First up in our list of notable players for Team Bauer is forward Melody Daou, who is entering her third year of professional hockey and second year with the PWHPA. Daou is highly decorated when it comes to international play, with two Olympic medals, gold from Sochi and silver from Pyeongchang, one World Championship silver medal, and a gold and silver medal from the U18 Women's World Championship. 
Dawu played for the CWHL's Lake Canadien for one season after finishing up her five-year collegiate career at McGill University. Up next, we have defender Jamie Bourbonnet, a 2020 graduate of Cornell University. Bourbonnet is entering her first year of professional hockey and is quite the accomplished player already. As a collegiate hockey player, she was named a finalist for the Patty Kazmaier Memorial Award, the honor given to the NCAA's best female hockey player. While she didn't win the award, that's not to say her trophy case is lacking at all. She's got a U18 silver medal and a world championship bronze medal under her belt, and is looking to add some more hardware as she was invited to Hockey Canada selection camp for the 2021 World Championship. Last season, before the pandemic caused the cancellation of the 2020 World Championship, Bourbonnet was, started, was slated to start her sophomore campaign on the blue line for Canada. Four goalies guard the crease for Team Bauer, but today we're going to be talking about Alberta native Emerence Mashmeyer, who's entering her fifth year of professional play. Mashmeyer graduated from Harvard in 2016 and played one season for the CWHL's Calgary Inferno before becoming a mainstay of Lake Canadien alongside Melody Daou. Mashmeyer is a four-time world championship medalist with three silvers and a bronze to her name and was a U18 world champion in 2012. Like Bourbonnet, Mashmeyer was also a Patty Kazmaier Award finalist during her collegiate tenure. Forward Kristen O'Neill is our Team Bauer rookie to watch this season. A teammate past and present of Jamie Bourbonnet, O'Neill graduated from Cornell in 2020 after serving as the team's captain as a senior and graduating with two ECAC regular season titles under her belt. She's a two-time U18 silver medalist and represented Canada at the Four Nations Cup in 2019, where she registered three assists in four games played. Now, we're going to pass the mic to Jamie Bourbonnet and Jill Saulnier as they tell us why you should cheer for Team Bauer. Hi, I'm Jamie Bourbonnet. I'm number 25 on Team Bauer in the Montreal region. And you should cheer for us in the Secret Dream Gap Tour because we have some of the best and most dedicated women's hockey players in the world who also have a lot of pride in the city. We have some of the nicest jerseys in the PWHPA and because Montreal has some of the best food in Canada. Hi everybody, my name is Jill Sonier. I'm a member of Team Bauer in the PWHPA. And the reason that fans should cheer for us is because we have a ton of depth. Uh, we bring a lot of energy and you're gonna get a full 60 minutes from us. Uh, these girls are a lot of fun to play with, so I'm sure it's a lot of fun to watch. And we've been working really hard to make sure that we showcase uh, a, a great product when, uh, when the time comes. So um, I hope everybody cheers for Team Bauer. I also heard we're best game day dressed. Thank you, Jamie and Jill. Allow us now to introduce Team Sun Insurance, or Team Sonnet for short, representing Toronto. Team Sonnet is coached by Laura McIntosh and managed by Christy Alcorn and Rebecca Michael. Team Sonnet has the edge over almost every other hub with eight defenders rostered, alongside three goalies and 14 forwards. Newcomers to professional women's hockey who have watched some international competitions might recognize some of the names on Team Sonnet as well. Players like Natalie Spooner, Laura Fortino, and Renata Fast have all donned the Maple Leaf and represented Canada internationally, and now play in their home region of Toronto. First up in our list of notable players for Team Sonnet is forward Sarah Nurse, who is entering her third year of professional hockey and second year with the PWHPA. Nurse is an Olympic silver medalist, a World Championship bronze medalist, a U18 gold medalist, and arguably the present and the future of Team Canada's offense. She spent her first season of professional hockey with the CWHL's Toronto Furies, who drafted her second overall in 2018. She was tied for the team lead in scoring her rookie season. Now, she's a member of the PWHPA's Player Advisory Board and competes for Team Sonnet. One fun fact about Nurse is that she comes from a very athletic family. Her brothers both play hockey, and her cousin, Kia, is a WNBA superstar. Our defender to watch for Team Sonnet is Laura Fortino a member of the Canadian national team who is entering her seventh year of professional play and second year with the PWHPA. Fortino has a whole host of international medals and honors, as well as a Clarkson Cup championship with the CWHL's Markham Thunder from 2018, and was a two-time Patty Kazmaier Award top 10 finalist during her tenure at Cornell. Team Sonnet's goalie to watch is none other than Shay Tiley, who backstopped the CWHL's Toronto Furies to a really impressive playoff run as a rookie in 2018-2019. Tiley is now going on her third year of professional hockey after splitting the 2019-2020 season between the PWHPA and the SDHL's HV71. Over the course of her four-year career at Clarkson, 
Tali brought home two national championship titles. Talk about dominant. Finally, our rookie to watch for Team Sonnet is Claire Thompson, who played all four seasons of her collegiate career with Princeton and was a part of the squad that won the school's first ever ECAC conference title in 2020. Thompson was also named to the Canadian women's senior team roster for the first time in her career in 2020, but the pandemic put a stop to her long-awaited debut in the red and white. Now, we're going to hand it over to Victoria Bach, Ella Shelton, and Claire Thompson as they tell us why you should cheer for Team Sonnet. Hi everyone, I hope you're all staying safe and healthy during these times. My name is Victoria Bach, and I'm a forward from Milton, Ontario, and I'm competing this season with Team Sonnet. I'm very excited to be playing in the Secret Dream Gap Tour with 200 of the best female hockey players from all around the world. So, let's make sure to tune in to watch us hit the ice this season because you won't want to miss us in action, especially with our new amazing Sonnet jerseys. By far the coolest fit that I've worn. So I can't wait to hit the ice with Team Sonnet and excited to get things started. Hey PWHPA fans, my name's Ella Shelton and this is my first year playing in the PWHPA for Toronto Region's Team Sonnet. Playing alongside some of Ontario's top female athletes, I can ensure that our team has put in the work to put on an exciting performance once we hit the ice. So cheer on Team Sonnet during the Secret Dream Gap Tour. Hi, my name is Claire Thompson and I'm number four on Team Sonnet. In the upcoming Secret Dream Gap Tour, you should cheer for Team Sonnet because we have the best players. We have the perfect combination of seasoned veterans and young talent that is guaranteed to make every game exciting. Thank you, Victoria, Ella, and Claire. Now introducing Team Scotiabank, based in Calgary. Team Scotiabank is coached by Dean Seymour, and their general manager is Becky McGee. A fun quirk about Team Scotiabank is that it's one of the only Canadian hubs to play host to a number of American national team players, including Olympic gold medalists Casey Bellamy and Amanda Pelkey. The hub used to feature Brianna Decker, but COVID protocols and the border closure between the U.S. and Canada forced Decker to relocate to the New Hampshire hub, but we'll get more into that later. As of right now, Calgary is made up of 14 forwards, 7 defenders, and 3 goaltenders, many of whom have competed with their respective national teams. And, of course, Team Scotiabank is sponsored by Scotiabank, one of Canada's largest banking and financial institutions. Our forward to watch for Team Scotiabank is none other than Calgary's very own Johnny Hockey. And no, not Johnny Gaudreau, though we think Rebecca Johnston could give him a run for his money. Rebecca Johnston is entering her eighth year of professional hockey and second season with the PWHPA after starting her professional tenure with the Toronto Furies and the Calgary Inferno of the now defunct CWHL. As a member of the Inferno, Johnston won two Clarkson Cups and the Angela James Bowl for most points in the league and was named MVP. In addition to all that hardware, Johnston's also a nine-time world championship medalist and a three-time Olympic medalist with two golds and one silver in the latter category. On the blue line, we have Bridget Laquette, a Minnesota Duluth alum and Calgary Inferno product out of Manitoba, who is entering her sixth year of professional hockey. Laquette has long been a prolific scorer from the blue line, putting up the most points and assists among defenders and earning the title of best defender at the 2010 U18 tournament. On the senior team, Laquette is a four-time medalist with three world championship medals and one Olympic silver medal the second of which she earned as the first ever First Nations woman on a Canadian Olympic squad. One of three guardians of the crease for Team Scotiabank, Kristen Campbell is our goaltender to watch for the Calgary Hub. She had a bit of an unconventional start to her collegiate career, having to transfer to Wisconsin after the University of North Dakota cut its women's hockey program in 2017. That being said, Campbell fit right in with the Badgers and helped backstop them to a national title in 2019. In addition to that bit of hardware, Campbell is also a silver medalist at the U18 tournament and has been invited to a handful of camps with Hockey Canada as she looks to help bolster the Canadian back end ahead of the 2021 World Championship. In terms of rookies to watch, we have University of Minnesota alum Sarah Potomac, who's entering her first year of professional hockey this season. Potomac is a two-time U18 medalist and won a silver medal at the senior tournament in 2017 but she hasn't been named to a senior team roster since. As a freshman at Minnesota, Potomac led the Gophers in points with 54 and helped the team to win its sixth national championship title. To make Team Scotiabank's bid for your fandom, we have Marlene Boisonneau, Rebecca Johnston, Kristen Campbell, and Sarah Potomac. 
Hi there, my name is Malin Bosno and I'm a goalie for Team Scotiabank. I hope you guys are excited for some of the most competitive hockey you've ever seen. Hi everyone, my name is Rebecca Johnston. I play on Team Scotiabank, the Calgary region in the PWHPA. I hope you all will cheer Calgary on at the Secret Dream Gap Tour coming up. I think it will be great hockey. We'll showcase a lot of skill, talent, speed on the ice, and Calgary would be the perfect team to cheer for. So I hope you all cheer for us. Go Calgary. Hey guys, it's Kristen Campbell here from Team Scotiabank. Just want to say that I'm super excited to compete in the Secret Dream Gap Tour this year. And Team Scotiabank is ready to take the ice and compete against some of the top players in the world. So we can't wait to have you guys watch us and cheer us on this year. Hi, my name is Sarah Potomac and I'm a forward for the Team Scotiabank Calgary region. Fans should cheer us on during the Secret Dream Gap Tour to not only watch the unbelievable talent, but also help promote and support women's hockey as we inspire the next generation to also have a future in professional women's hockey. Thank you to Marlene, Rebecca, Kristen, and Sarah. The first of our U.S.-based hubs is Team Adidas, located in Minnesota and host to a number of 2018 Olympic gold medalists. Team Adidas is managed by Justin Johnson and coached by Matt Lettner, and, so far, leads all of the PWHPA in wins, with three during the first two stops of the 2020-2021 Secret Dream Gap Tour. Team Adidas' roster is made up of 14 forwards, 6 defenders, and 4 goaltenders, and boasts one of the strongest and most decorated back ends in the entire PWHPA. Newcomers to women's hockey who tuned in during the 2018 Winter Olympics might recognize some powerhouses on Team Adidas, like our forward to watch for Team Adidas is none other than Hannah Brandt, one of the most decorated players in the PWHPA. Brandt is entering her fourth year of professional hockey after two years with the NWHL's Minnesota Whitecaps, one of which was during their Isabel Cup run in 2019, and one season with the PWHPA. Brandt was one of the most decorated collegiate careers in the PWHPA, winning three national championships as a member of the Minnesota Golden Gophers, and being named a finalist for the Patty Kazmaier Award all four years of her tenure, twice earning the nod as a top three finalist. In 2012, Brent was also named Miss Hockey Minnesota, the award annually distributed to Minnesota's top female high school hockey player. Talk about hardware! Team Adidas defender to watch is Savannah Harmon, who's entering her third year of professional hockey and second with the PWHPA. In 2018-2019, Harmon was a force to be reckoned with on the NWHL's Buffalo Buttes Blue Line, a characterization that's reinforced by her two national championships with Clarkson University. In her senior season, Harmon was a Patty Kazmaier Award Top 10 finalist, and in 2020 was named to Team USA's IIHF World Championship roster, though the COVID-19 pandemic canceled the tournament before she could make her debut. Some might call her by her name, Maddie Rooney, but we like to call her the Secretary of Defense, as Team Adidas' back end is rounded out by this all-star netminder. Maddie Rooney backstopped Team USA to its first Olympic gold medal in 20 years in 2018, and clinched the title with one final save in the shootout of the gold medal game against Canada. Apologies to any Canadian viewers who might experience some pain upon reliving that memory. Rooney graduated in 2019 from the University of Minnesota Duluth, and has two additional World Championship gold medals on her resume. While we've already mentioned another professional rookie in Maddie Rooney, our real rookie to watch for Team Adidas is Riley Houston, a forward who's put up solid numbers through the first few games of her professional career during the 2020-2021 Secret Dream Gap Tour. Houston was a teammate at Rooney's at Minnesota Duluth, and the pair are teammates once more on Team Adidas. Houston also won two silver medals with Team Canada at the U18 tournament prior to the start of her collegiate career though she has yet to be named to a senior team roster. It's time for Team Adidas to make their argument, and who better than Sophia Shaver, Sydney Brott, and Hannah Brandt to convince you? Hi, PWHPA fans. My name is Sophia Shaver, and I am a forward on Team Adidas in Minnesota, and I have a ton of reasons why you all should cheer for us in the upcoming Secret Dream Gap Tour games. Um, first of all, we've got two of the biggest trailblazers in women's hockey um, in Hillary Knight and Kendall Coyne. They've done so much for young girls coming up through hockey, and I know we're all so proud of them, and it's been an honor to play with them as well. And Minnesota is the state of hockey, so we've got probably about five or six homegrown Minnesota hockey players on our team that we've 
I mean, we've all played together in youth hockey, high school, um, college, and now pros. It's been an amazing time. Um, and we're really looking forward to building on our successes that we've had in the past four games against um, Team Women's Sports Foundation in the upcoming games. So keep an eye out for us, and we're really excited to keep it going. Hi, my name is Sydney Brat, and I play for Team Adidas in the PWHPA, and I'm from North Oaks, Minnesota. Um, I recently graduated from the University of Minnesota Duluth this past year in 2020. So this is my first season in the PWHPA. And I think you should cheer for Team Adidas because we have a great mix of young and veteran talent. Um, we play a super fast, high speed, skilled game. And our last few series against New Hampshire have been super fun to play in and very fast and physical. So I think you should tune in this weekend and cheer for Team Adidas. Hi, my name is Hannah Brandt. I play for Team Adidas. We are based out of Minnesota. I also went to the University of Minnesota and I'm from Minnesota, so I'm a little bit biased, but I think Minnesota is the best team. I think Zoe would agree with that. Um, I think you should cheer for us because we have a fun mix of young and veteran players, as well as Abby Rock is going to leave a food review at every city, apparently, on the tour. So if you want a good food review of every city we tour, then follow along Team Minnesota. Thank you, Sophia, Sydney, and Hannah. Finally, we have Team WSF, the New Hampshire Regional Training Hub that's sponsored by Billie Jean King's Women's Sports Foundation. The roster is managed and coached by Bill Flanagan and is home to several talented recent NCAA alumni, along with a couple of 2018 Olympians with ties to the New England region. Among the 14 forwards, 8 defenders, and 4 goaltenders is Brianna Decker, who, as we mentioned earlier, transferred to the New Hampshire hub from Calgary as a result of a pandemic and international border closures. Some names you might recognize on Team WSF's roster include 2018 Olympic gold medalists Haley Skarupa, Gigi Marvin, Brianna Decker, and Alex Cavallini. That being said, let's take a quick dive into some notable players on Team WSF's roster, with forward Haley Skamura leading the way. Skamura is entering her fourth year of professional hockey and her second with the PWHPA, and is a one-time world champion with Team USA. While she made her debut with the senior roster at the 2019 World Championship, Skimura was also named to her second World Championship roster in 2020 and will be competing alongside several of her past and present teammates in the PWHPA on the 2021 American roster. In 2017, as a senior at Northeastern, she was also named Hockey East's Best Defensive Forward. On the blue line, we have Callie Flanagan, who's played some of the highest minutes of any player through the first few games of the 2020-2021 Secret Dream Gap Tour. She's had a lot of success with Team USA, winning an Olympic gold medal and a world championship alongside her Team WSF defensive partner Megan Keller. She also appeared as a special guest at the 2020 ECHL All-Star Game in Wichita, Kansas, where she scored the game winner and won the weekend alongside several of the ECHL's brightest stars. In net, we have goaltender Katie Burt, who was a teammate of Callie Flanagan's for three years at Boston College. Burt, who's entering her third year of professional hockey and second with the PWHPA, has one of the most storied careers as a Boston College Eagle, with four program records under her belt. 121 wins, 35 shutouts, a 1.47 goals against average, a .937 save percentage, and the career assist record for a Boston College goaltender with six assists. Let's just say there's not much Kitty Burt can't do. Oh, and she's a two-time Hockey East tournament champion and a three-time Beanpot champion. Kind of a big deal. Our rookie to watch for Team WSF is none other than defender Cody Cross, who was a reliable defender for Northeastern for four years. Cross is a U18 silver medalist with Team Canada and won three Hockey East tournament titles with the Huskies during her collegiate tenure. Finally, McKenna Newkirk and Jincy Dunn are here with us to convince you to cheer for Team WSF. Hi, PWHPA fans. My name is McKenna Newkirk, and I play for Team Women's Sports Foundation. You should cheer for us in St. Louis because we represent Billie Jean King and all of New England. Hi, everybody. My name is Jincy Dunn, and I'm from St. Louis, Missouri, and I'm a part of the New Hampshire region. And just in general, y'all should cheer for the Secret Dream Gap Tour. Um, because we are women that put our heart and soul behind what we do and we love the sport and we are trying to create 
um, as many and more opportunities for women after us, long after us, to play the game and get equal pay and do what they love. Because um, it's such a great sport and, you know, why not? So you should cheer for us. Um, secondly, cheering is just good for you in general. And third, um, you should specifically cheer for New Hampshire because we haven't won a weekend yet and we can definitely use all the hype behind us. So yes, you should definitely be cheering for the Secret Dream Gap Tour and we would appreciate it. Thank you to McKenna and Jinsey. Now, a video about the PWHPA wouldn't be complete without a quick recap of the 2020-2021 Secret Dream Gap Tour stops. Due to COVID-19 regulations, only the United States allowed for games to be played, and only the American hubs could compete, meaning that these two stops saw action exclusively between Team Adidas and Team WSF. The first two tour stops have already happened and took place in New York City, New York, and Chicago, Illinois. The third tour stop is scheduled for early April in St. Louis, Missouri. Game one of the New York tour stop saw Team Adidas emerge victorious at Protech Ponds Ice Center in New Jersey with rookie and Wisconsin alum Abby Rock leading the way with two goals in a 5-2 win. Joining Rock on the score sheet were Savannah Harmon, Riley Houston, and Team USA captain Kendall's Coyne Schofield. Team WSF's Haley Skimura and Gigi Marvin netted the only two goals for their team. Deservedly, Rock was named the game's first star. Game two of the weekend took place at the historic Madison Square Garden, and Team WSF was able to pull out a victory this time, despite a multi-point performance from Rock. Brianna Decker scored twice in Team WSF's 4-3 win, joined by her American national team teammates Amanda Kessel and Haley Skarupa. On the other side of the ice, Rock, Hillary Knight, and Coyne Schofield all tallied goals for Team Adidas. The second stop of the Secret Dream Gap Tour was in Chicago, in partnership with the NHL Chicago franchise. Team Adidas would handily win both games of the tour stop, with goaltender Nicole Hensley putting on a show-stopping performance in Game 1 at the United Center with 33 saves on 34 shot attempts, leading her team to a 4-1 victory. Rock would score twice, again, and was joined on the score sheet by new recruit and former Wisconsin teammate Maddie Rolfs, and again by Coyne Schofield. Game 2 of the Chicago Tour stop at 5th Third Arena in Chicago saw Team Adidas win by an even wider margin, this time scoring 6 goals en route to a 6-2 win over Team WSF. The Minnesota Hubs' Danny Cameronese had assists on half of her team's goals and was named the game's first star. On April 11th and 12th of 2021, Team Adidas and Team WSF will visit the Enterprise Center in St. Louis in partnership with the NHL St. Louis Blues. Which team will come out on top and whether Abby Rock will continue to dominate remains to be seen. Streaming options for the St. Louis stop of the Secret Dream Gap Tour are as follows. You can catch the first game on Sunday, April 11th on a global cbcsports.ca stream at 6 p.m. Eastern, while Monday's game at the Enterprise Center on April 12th will be streamed exclusively on NBCSN in the United States and on SN Now in Canada. So, what's next for you and for the PWHPA? We just gave you a pretty overwhelming amount of information, so naturally, to compound upon that, we're going to give you some homework. First. Follow the organization and your favorite players on social media. Keep up to date on the PWHPA and women's hockey news by following media members and publications like the Ice Garden. Additionally, stay tuned for more women's hockey info sessions from us. And don't forget to tune in this weekend! Finally, thank you for watching and taking the time out of your day to learn more about the PWHPA and women's hockey. Make sure to leave any questions you have in the chat or in the comments, and like this video and subscribe to our channel for more content.